Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm an animation student and my hidden ambition is in balming. I've been doing my course for about a year and a half now. Um, there's seven modules to the course. I got kicked out of my sixth form um, for various things and kind of, I thought, I think I thought that that would really piss my parents off that I'd been kicked out of sixth form. So they never found out I was kicked out. I shredded that letter. The minute that letter hit my front doorstep, that letter was in the shredder. I did not want them to know I got kicked out of sixth form. So I joined a college instead and the only thing I could really do was art. So I took this sketchbook into Croydon College and um, was like, look, I got kicked out. I can draw a bit. Can I do an art course here? And they said, yeah. So I sort of started doing that. Quit the funeral home, which was a really stupid thing to do, but I think I sort of, somewhere along the line, started thinking, oh, I'm going to go and do art instead for a bit. And that's where I ended up. And then halfway through my animation course in year two, I realised that was a very silly thing to do and I should go back to doing embalming or funeral directing of some kind. The point in the embalming procedure in general is to restore the deceased to a dignified state and um, to, to make them essentially look like they did before they died. You know, it's, it's especially important to people that have died maybe of an illness that has made them deteriorate a lot more than they would normally or in an accident and they kind of they, they don't look how they did before so embalming is very important especially for cases like that because you can restore them back to what they were their families can come and see them and say their goodbyes when they're in a state that you know is going to be very acceptable to that family they're not going to want to see their their loved one looking horrific because of what they've died of they're going to want to see them looking how they left them my family is actually endlessly supportive of it like to be fair with even with the art thing they know i got kicked out of sixth form now and that's why i went and did art even with the art thing they are so supportive of everything i do even if it's ridiculous and they probably know it's ridiculous the embalming procedure um it very much depends on how the person's died if they've died of like natural causes and there's been no need for a postmortem, then it's something called a straight case, which is it's exactly the same as a blood transfusion, except with formaldehyde. It's exactly the same, pretty much. Um, postmortem's a little more complex in the sense that you've got to reopen all the postmortem incisions and find the arteries that way, um, drain the blood out, put the formaldehyde in, make sure everything looks the way it should look, and you're done. Their general reaction... Oh, is usually one of horror. It's, it's not, not a fabulous reaction usually. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes people are like, oh, that's really cool.